has been called the river of light, transporting various substances that must be carried to one part of the body or another. Red blood cells are an important element of blood. Their job is to transport oxygen to the body's tissues in exchange for carbon dioxide, which they carry to the lungs to be expelled. Red blood cells are formed in the red bone marrow of wounds. Stem cells in the red bone marrow are called hemocytoplasts. They give rise to all of the formed elements in the blood. Thus, the job of transporting oxygen to the body's tissue is affected by changes in blood type groups. Thus, stem cells or Hemocytoblasts are affected by blood type group changes. If a stem cell commits to becoming a cell called a pre-erythroblast, it will develop into a new red blood cell. Thus, this affected by different blood type groups, the formation of a red blood cell takes about two days the body makes about two million red blood cells every seconds the formation of red blood cell is different in different blood type groups blood is made of both cellular cellular and liquid components the assemble of blood is spun in centrifuge the formed elements and fluid matrix of blood can be separated from each other. This reaction to accumulate after centrifuge, it is it different in different blood type groups? Blood consists of 45% red blood cells, less than 1% of white blood cells and platelets, and 55 plasma so according to the production of red blood cells erythropoiesis red blood cells are produced continuously in the marrow of certain bones as stated above in others the principal size of red cell production called erythropoiesis are the marrow spaces of the vertebra ribs ribs breast bone and bell pelvic Within the bone marrow, the red blood cells is derived from a primitive precursor or, or erythroblast, a nucleated cell in which there is no hemoglobin. Proliferation occurs as a result of several successive cell divisions. During maturation, hemoglobin occurs and appears in the cell and the nucleus becomes progressively smaller. After a few days, the cell loses its nucleus and is then introduced into the bloodstream in the vascular channels of the marrow. Almost 1% of the red blood cells are regenerated, regenerated or generated each day, and the balance between red blood cell production and the removal of aging red cells form the circulation is precisely maintained. When blood is lost from the circulation, the erythropoietic activity of marrow increases until the normal number of circulating cells has been restored. In the normal adult, the red cells of about half a liter, almost one pint of blood are produced by the bone marrow every week. A number of nutrients Substances are required for the process, thus those nutrients which are different in effect due to different blood type groups affect the manufacture amount of red, of red blood cells. Some nutrients are the building blocks of which the red cells are composed. For example, amino acids are needed in abundance for, for the construction of the protein of the red blood cells, in particular of hemoglobin. Iron also is a necessary component of hemoglobin. Approximately one quarter of a gram of iron is needed for the production of a pint 
of blood. Other substances required in trace amounts are needed to catalyze the chemical reactions by which red cells are produced. Important among these are several vitamins such as riboflavin, vitamin B12, and folic acid necessary for the maturation of the developing red cells and vitamin B6 pyridoxine required for the synthesis of hemoglobin. The secretions of several endocrine glands influence red cells production. If there is an inadequate supply of thyroid hormone, astropoiesis is retarded and anemia appears. The male sex hormone testosterone stimulates red cell production. For this reason, red cells counts of men are higher than those of women. The same question here. Do changes in nutrients affect the manufacture due to different blood type groups?